Everybody starts just with the basics. You probably started with a simple laptop and a pair of headphones. At the start, everything is so much fun. You're just messing around, learning new things about music production. You start getting better day by day and it's exciting. But as the months or years pass, you kind of get lost in this music production world. You watch more and more YouTube videos on how to improve your mixing, mastering, sound design. You made an Instagram account to start building a fan base, develop your aesthetic and create a persona online. On top of that, you have to be consistent with that shit because you want to build a strong online presence and develop a relationship with your audience. You've discovered some labels that are in your chamber so you started sending them some of your tracks with the hope that your music gets heard on a wider audience. You've also discovered about marketing so you're sitting there watching video after video on how to promote your music or maybe you want to self-release. So what do you have to do? Finish a fully mixed and mastered track, make an artwork, find a distributor to upload your track and release it on all platforms. Platforms, pitch the song through Spotify for artists and now you have to make a release plan which includes two weeks before it gets released, the release date and two weeks after it gets released with the main goal to promote your track and you repeat this whole process again and again. And you know what's the best part? You might not even get a thousand streams on your track. You started to connect with different producers and develop friendships through Discord or Instagram so that you can expand your network and give to yourself more opportunities in the industry. You're also collaborating with them, you're getting a little bit more serious with music production and you're trying to improve your studio, you're constantly learning and keeping up to date with the latest plugins, presets, samples, and now you learned about writer's block, which comes around the corner and hits you every month out of nowhere, trying to kill your creativeness. And now things got so complicated, you're all over the place. Chaos and frustration became part of your daily life because you're trying to do a hundred different jobs at the same time. You're probably stressing yourself way much more than before because you have too much shit on your head and on top of that you might be a student or have a normal 9 to 5 job which doesn't allow you financially to do the things that you want to do with music only God knows where your music career is gonna be the next one or two three years down the line and why do you do all this because you just want to make it in the music industry Listen, I know that you want to make it in the music industry and make a living out of this. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to wake up in the morning and the only thing he has to do is music? If you relate with the things that I listed on top, then you need to take a step back because we get caught up in this whole music production world and we forget to see things from a different perspective. We forget to think outside of the box. We forget to appreciate the progress we've done the past months or even years. And now here's the tricky part of this video. I know I put the text the art of slowing things down but we're not slowing anything down instead i will teach you this one single rule that will allow you to do less work and achieve more results than you are right now which therefore creates the illusion of slowing things down let me explain a little bit further this rule is called the 2080 rule aka the pareto principle wilfredo pareto was an italian economist and sociologist and he was trying to to prove that 80% of the wealth was held by 20% of the population and the other 20% of the wealth was held by the other 80% of the population. This idea was later on developed on every aspect in life, which statistically proves that 80% of the results in your life occur from 20% of your actions. Okay, let's implement this rule in music production. So how do you create and finish a full truck? First of all, you start with the idea, then you arrange it, structure it, then you add more details, you fill up the whole track, then you do the mixing and then you do the mastering. Yo, what's up guys? So I wanted to add something here is that whenever you create an idea and you have a basic structure of it, then once you start building on top of that, the more time you spend on it, nothing crucial is gonna change to the truck. The first two, three hours is the 20% that is gonna bring the 80% of the results. So what is the core foundation of the whole truck? Is it the mixing? Is it the structure? Is it the arrangement? No, it's the main idea. No matter how good your structure, your arrangement, your sound design, your mixing, your mastering is, without a good idea, then your song will never be able to stand on its feet. And this principle can be implemented everywhere. What do you think is your core foundation for your music career? What is that 20% of tasks that you do on a daily basis that bring 80% of the 
the results in your career? Is it marketing? Is it networking with other producers? Is it chasing the next plugin presets or, or samples? No, none of those things. The core foundation for your music career is your music, nothing else. And you need to realize that you are an artist and that's where you should be doubling down. By knowing how this rule works, then with some proper action, we can achieve the illusion of slowing things down, which means doing less work and achieving more results. How is this even possible? Let me tell you how. The best thing you could do right now is to sit down and write every single thing that you do on a daily basis. Let's say for example, in a day we have 24 hours. Eight of those hours will be dedicated for, let's say for example, you go to school or university or a nine to five job then those other eight hours will be dedicated for your sleep, obviously, okay? So hypothetically, we're now left with eight free hours in our day. And right now I'm gonna write down what I used to do back in like two to three years. First on the list will be like video games. I will spend two hours a day playing video games. Then it will be social media, such as TikTok, Instagram. I will spend around one hour a day there. You can also check your screen time to see how much you spend in a day on your phone. Then it will be YouTube. I will spend around one hour on YouTube then music production I will just make I will do two hours approximately a day music production and then it's some other stuff like discord calls marketing networking and some other stuff that random stuff that I will do in my daily life and that will take two hours now that we've written down what what do we do on a daily basis we need to categorize them in three columns so the first column is the important stuff the second column not that necessary and the third column useless and we take all all those things that we wrote down from before that whatever we do on a daily basis and then we just put them in those three columns the most important things will be music production which will take two hours a day then not that necessary will be the discord calls the marketing the networking and the other stuff plus youtube that will be three hours a day and then the useless stuff will be video games and social media which will give me zero progress for my music career and that will take up to three hours the main goal here is to increase what is important, reduce what is not that necessary, and cut off from everything that is useless. But for the sake of this video, let's assume that we completely cut off from the second and the third column. This means that you will be doing two hours of music production a day, and then the other six hours will be free. What if I double the hours of doing music production, so now I do four hours of music production, and then I just have four hours for free. My results for my music career will be doubled, and I will still have four hours free in a day. This is what I'm talking about, slowing things down. You're just utilizing your time and trying to find the most important tasks that you do in your daily life. Now that we got those four free hours, what are we gonna do with them? The best thing I will say, like, utilize those four hours so that your four hours of music production will be more efficient. So you need those free four hours to complement the your music production. And what do I mean by that? Let me give you an example right now. So let's analyze the scenario of having a healthy lifestyle and an unhealthy lifestyle. On the first case scenario, you will be most likely be productive, alert, more awake, more creative, more focused. And on the second case scenario, which is the unhealthy lifestyle, you'll be less productive, you'll be less creative, you'll be drowned, you'll be, you're not gonna have that much energy. Comparing A scenario and B scenario, you will see that your progress in music production will be significantly different in the long run. When you have a healthy lifestyle, your progress and your expression through music, everything in music gets boosted. And when you have the unhealthy lifestyle, everything goes downfall and that's what I noticed with myself like whenever there was for weeks or for months that I would have an unhealthy lifestyle then I wouldn't be even motivated or inspired to sit down and make music I would just sit all day long play video games masturbate and do all this kind of fucking weird shit but now that I introduced a little bit more healthy lifestyle into my life I'm more motivated and I and I'm excited to wake up in the morning and make music so what are we gonna do with those four free hours that we already have you can go out and work out you can do some meditation you can go for a walk you can hang out with your friends friends, read some books, write in your journal, you can watch a movie or you can watch something on YouTube that you're interested in so that you learn. Let's say, for example, people are interested in history for, or physics, or I'm really interested in two more spirituality. I sit down and watch videos about spirituality. That's what I do most of the time. This will refresh your mind. And when whenever you come back and make music, then you'll be way much more inspired and creative. You're gonna be enjoying the process of making music way much more than you used to before. Because all of your energy was drained from video games, from social media. When it came to make music, you had zero fucking energy. But now we introduce this healthy lifestyle that gives us energy. 
energy gives back to us. We don't give our energy to video games, to social media. We take it from all these healthy habits. So you're the only person who is in control of your life, which means that you are the creator of your own reality and you can shift it and bend it however you want in order to achieve the results that you want in life. And as cliche as this sounds, it is true. It is true because I've been in both sides, the unhealthy lifestyle and the healthy lifestyle. To be honest, 10 years of my unhealthy lifestyle will be the same as one year of my healthy lifestyle. That's how much progress I make when I'm, I'm in my routine, when I eat healthy, when I sleep healthy, when I do meditation, when I go out with some friends and hang around and just be grateful. And it's a whole different mindset. It's a whole different lifestyle that you need to start introducing step by step, slowly and steadily in your life. And the purpose of the, uh, the 2080 rule from Pareto is that it's for you to realize which activities align with your path that you set in your life and the ones who don't. And this is the art of slowing things down. Once you start getting into this healthy lifestyle, you will realize that you have way much more free time than you used to, way much more. It, it kind of removes a lot of pressure out of your chest at the same time, because you don't have to constantly look at your emails. You, you don't constantly have to be careful about um, marketing and posting on Instagram, the stories and the posts and the, the artwork and all that kind of shit. Just those things are not necessary. Just focus on your music. That's all you have to do. Focus on your music and live a healthy lifestyle. It, it's as simple as that, but not many people understand this and not many people implement this. And I found myself the past months slacking and trying to escape from this healthy lifestyle because I was so hooked on those instant gratifications. It was either video games, it was either eating shit, eating junk food or sleeping late or hanging out with some friends too fucking late, going out in the club and drinking all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that those things are bad, but you can do them once every week or like that, but they're not gonna benefit you for your career trust me and they sure did not for me so i started to disassociate myself from that kind of lifestyle and once you start disassociating yourself from these online distractions this is when you actually start changing as a person this is a time when you shift from being the consumer to being the producer so what kind of activities are you willing to sacrifice in order to become the person you've always wanted